Hello, I'm the Little Furnace, and I'd consider myself to be a pretty good Terrarian. <laughs> Maybe even the best. However, I've actually never beat the game. Um, and that's gonna change in this series. To make this even more difficult for myself, I've decided to play on modded, so there's a lot more content in the game, and I don't know what some of it does. It's gonna be fun. The main three mods that I'm using are Thorium, Calamity, and Fargo Souls. So it's, there's a lot of stuff. Um, there are a few quality of life mods that you'll see along the way. But anyways, I'm just gonna get right into it. Enjoy! And we're in. Okay, this is nice. I don't really know. Alright, let me just start chopping some trees. And chop trees I did. Now, I had a plan for this playthrough. I already looked ahead at some of the mods, and I got this really cool one called Archery Overhaul. It just adds tons of new bows to the game. And so I was thinking of starting off as a ranger and getting one of those bows eventually. Oh, wait, hold on. What is all this? Oh, um, sure, I'll make a squirrel summoning staff, um, <laughs> okay, that's cool, okay, what else can I make? After obtaining my squirrel companion, I crafted myself some gear and decided to explore the area around me. Okay, this is off to a great start. Alright, I'm gonna go explore. Whoa. Okay, that background's cool. That is weird. I need torches. Oh, even better. Alright, let's go. Okay. Dude, no way. No way, this is great. Okay. That's good. This is strange. This is... This is... This is bad. Okay, sure. Just go away. Leave me alone. Stay away. Leave me alone. Yeah, thanks. Uh, acorn. Oh, what the? It's just a hole? Okay. <gasps> oh, oh, sorry. Oh, I thought it was an enchanted sword shrine. What is this? What even? Trinket of Chi. Provides 10% damage reduction after not being hit for 15 seconds. This is removed when you are hit. Provides 2 life regen for you and everyone on your team. Okay. That is good. That is actually really good. Oh, and pink shell. 6 go- oh my. Okay, that's phenomenal. Oh. I didn't know Aura Excavator did that. Okay, Aura Excavator isn't cheating. Just have it be known. It just makes everything less bad, okay? That's... yes. What the... oh, it's one of the Calamity things, isn't it? Wolf from Hovercraft. I contributed nothing to that. I'm pretty sure I put it in expert mode. Oh, here's an arrow pouch. That's good. Ooh, arrow grenades. I'm pr I prefer my bottle of... Ooh, 12 damage. Okay, anyways. Time to build a house. Let's 
Stop assaulting me. <laughs> Why? Okay guys, I finished the house and died a little bit, you know, just one gravestone so far. Um, but I also got a lot of weird items from monsters. Uh, so I'm just gonna go through them really quick. I got a guarding lucky rabbit's foot. Killed enemies have a chance to drop one. Oh, that double coin. Okay, I'm just gonna put that on. That's great. I got blood. That's concerning. Monster hide. I think this is from our tree overhaul. Um. Oh wait, this is useful. Okay. Ooh, arrow speed increased by 12. Makes them more accurate. I can craft that. I should. Ooh. Ooh, this is good. What's in... Oh, dang. This is good, good. I got Archer Emblem. Who the heck is this? If you ever need to get rid of a vampire or go roll playing, I'd recommend a crossbows. Oh, this, oh, this is an archer, dude. I mean, oh, it's something. Oh, crap. Oh, crap, move. <laughs> oh, God, I know. Then I went down into this cave and I started exploring it. I was particularly looking for tungsten, gold, and lead so I can make some stuff for the archery mod. But then I saw this. Beat my first... Goodness gracious, is to beat my first boss. Hopefully that's not too unrealistic. I'm not sure... Oh, I have the checklist here. What's the Trojan squirrel? I think we're gonna fight the Trojan Squirrel. The cricket. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that, that's the boss we'll be fighting. I might, if the Trojan Squirrel goes by quickly, I might do another one. My new goal was to defeat the Trojan Squirrel, but first I needed to improve my base a little bit. Oh, it's 10, okay. Alright, guys, I'm done looting. And I th think it's time to start trying to fight a boss. So I'm just gonna work some storage out and I'll see you guys when I'm finished. Okay, I'm back. I sorted all the items. Um, so now we have our ores in the ores chests. We have our potions, materials, seeds, fishing. I plan to do a lot of fishing this playthrough. It's one of my favorite things to do. Uh, when I get good stuff. <laughs> not, not all the time. Uh, this is miscellaneous. I don't really know what I'm gonna do with all this scrap. I'm intrigued by the vanquisher medal though um hmm. might be some npc thing i don't know accessories and building yeah so that's that's that so i'm gonna make myself some gear now so we can take on the <laughs> so we can take on the trojan squirrel i was just always gonna show this stuff okay so you can convert bars to like their counterparts what is the sparks pre- <gasps> Are we gonna cook 
The Trojan horse a lot. Okay, we're doing it. We're doing it. Yeah, sure, we'll burn it. Okay. <laughs> Squirrel coat of arms. This is beautiful. Okay, where is it? Oh, frick. Wait, what is happening? Oh, I forgot to use my life crystal. Oh, what the hell? Oh, this is dangerous. Okay, I didn't think this through. 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 The worst time was gonna happen. Oh yeah, I, I have double jump. Oh crap. Nope, nope. Okay. Oh, what the hell? Okay, okay. It just, just teleport up the mountain. Why not? Why not? <laughs> okay, guys. We beat the Trojan Squirrel. Let's go. <laughs> After defeating the Trojan Squirrel, I opened its treasure bag and got some interesting things. I got a sword that launches acorns when swung, and a gizmo pack, which lets me see treasure when I'm standing still. These were great, but now it was time to move on to my next task. I decided to go caving again, because I was looking for components to make a very powerful bow. No way. No way. Dude, no. Okay, come on, come on. Please be ice skates. Whenever I try to get Terra Spark boots in a playthrough, I'm always missing ice skates. Okay, this is fine. I can all just get ice skates some other time. Yeah, it'll be it'll be easy, totally. Yeah, something like that. Alright, now we're going to get into the archery mod, and so I've I've researched this, and I think I've done it a few times before, so I'm just going to decide which bow I want. Um, okay, but basically the starter choices are the rapid bow, the long bow, and the repeater bow. Out of these three choices, I decided to pick the repeater bow, because it's my favorite. It can shoot two arrows, like at a time, practically, and when it's upgraded, it can go to three or four. So this is what I chose, and I began to make it, and then upgraded it to a clockwork bow. I then went to craft a king slime summon. Can I? Yes! Evil- Oh. I guess Crimson isn't that bad. I, I don't know. I, yeah, okay. That's good to know. Okay, here we are. Do I not have enough gel? I only had 9 gel, and the summon required 20. I couldn't craft it quite yet. I just had enough gel to make the crown, and I spent it on a sticky bomb. <laughs> I don't have a hammer. <laughs> this isn't going well. I killed the underground crimson slimes until I had enough gel for the crown. Now time to fight it. I'm gonna fight this thing. Now as a seasoned professional, um, even though I'm here beating the game. I know, ex I'm just gonna make an arena. Um, I think I accidentally deleted the clip, but I made some really cool ice bime arrows, and you'll see them in this fight. They're great. Three, two, one, go. Oh crap. Sorry, sorry, I didn't mean to make fun of you, sir. <laughs> w 
We. <laughs> Dang it. Hey, let's go. We beat him. I had just beaten my second boss of the playthrough. Feeling very accomplished, I decided to check out what he dropped. Alright, I just cleaned out my inventory. Let's see what we got from the boss. Uh, what is this? King Slime whispers from on high, dance in your ears. Left shift. Given time, these gelatinous creatures absorb each other and slowly grow in both size and strength. There is little need to worry about this. Naturally, slimes are nearly mindless and amass only by chance. Though it appears they are capable of absorbing knowledge, if only in rudimentary form. Right, let's see what's in the treasure bag. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of stuff. I got a playing card for the gambler class. Slimy flask for the alchemist class. Throwing class? And. <laughs> Alright, guys. Um, this has been the first episode of my modded Terraria playthrough. I think it went pretty well. We got a cool bow that causes that. We got a little nature sword nature axe, you know? Um... And some weird bouncing stuff. I don't even know what this is. Alright, well, thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed, make sure you <laughs> smash this. <laughs> if you liked the video, just like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you some other time. Bye! Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this. I'm gonna try to keep posting and not have yearly breaks between uploads like I did. I had a lot of fun recording and editing this. This is my first time really doing a video like this, so if you have any recommendations or if I messed up somehow, um, please leave them in the comments. I'll be reading them, trust me. <laughs> But yeah, thank you so much for watching, and have a good day. See ya!